This video has answered a question posted on the Playmaker forum about how to um, stop a rotation. So it seems like they're new to Playmaker and trying to figure out the FSMs and how to use actions and events and so on. So from what I can gather from the post, they want a cube or a cube to rotate every 10 degrees every second when they have a boolean turned on, so true. And then they want to reset it to zero rotation and not do anything when they turn the boolean off. But the problem they're having is that um, it comes in and checks that it's on, but it then gets stuck in this loop that you can't get out of this one state. So I'll show you this working, So and then I'll show you how to make it. So the cube itself has an FSM set up like this. I did it a little different um, the way I had it set out. Um, there's multiple ways that you can do this but I have a second FSM here and this FSM all it does is it changes the boolean state to on and off depending on key press and this one here just rotates an object in loops and then this one sets it to zero rotation so if I hit play I press A and you can see it just loops and keeps going as soon as I press B, it turns off and just goes back to start. Okay. So, um, let's start a new scene and make it. So we create a cube. Let's position it about there. And drag this material on top so we can see it. And let's make a sphere. Let's scale it down a little bit so we can check the front then and make a empty game object Drag that out and call this game game manager now let's start off with the game manager so the logic is that we want to turn the boolean on and off using key presses so that will be a separate fsm and then we'll have another fsm that actually rotates the cube and we could do it in the one FSM as well, but I'll just show you this way. As I said, there's a million ways you can use Playmaker to create the same effect. So what we'll call this one is called listening. For the change, we'll call this rotate on, and we'll call this one rotate off. Now the next thing that we want to do is we want to put in the key presses. No key press, oops, key down. Sorry. Get these two in, <coughs> and we'll use the A and the B key because they're close. Now the next thing is we need some events to put in, so we can type in rotate on and. Um, when when you create your own event, so I'll just put that in. Um, Rot off. Okay, because I've already made an FSM, I have previous events already saved. But essentially, what you want to do is when you create create your own events, you want to make them global by ticking this box. Um, well. You can make them global on and off. Sorry, what I meant to say was, when you're using this type of setup, what you're actually doing is you're you're triggering another event from another FSM to from one FSM sorry to another FSM. And the way to do it is by making the way you're using global variables for the boolean, which was good. You use global events so that you can track between them. So for this one, we have rotate on and off, but we don't need those as global. So I'll just put these in here. And now what we need is we need to set the bool. So we go bool um, set. Okay. And we want to make it global. So I already have one here, but we'll make a new one. And we'll call it rot. rot. There we go. Let's add that in. And we change this one to true. <coughs> and once we're finished. Just put a finish state in, 
and link it back up. And we can copy this and paste it into there and turn it off. <coughs> okay, so now we have this form working that will come in and we press this and we press this one. We hit play, press A and then we press B and you can see it changing down here. Okay, the next stage is to actually make this move. So, you can have a setup one up here, so you can call the setup. So, um, every time you enter this in or you start the game, you might want to say make sure that the global variable uh, wrote is always set to false when you first come in. And then we have one called check bool. And you can pop these two in. And these are your vote on, on, rotate on, and rotate off. Okay. And we can add a. Uh, yep. Customize. Oops. Awesome. Now this is where the global events come into play. So what we want to do is we want to um, check boolean, make a new event, we we'll call it check boolean. And you want to have it as a global. So like with a start, a start comes in and we'll go in here and get stuck. You can make a boolean and it will come in every time this is triggered from elsewhere. Okay. Then we can do our rotate. So we want to do a rotate add. You want it at 10 degrees. Um, when it finishes, we just can loop it back on itself. And then you want it to go back to this one, which was zero on zero. You can make it instant if you want as well. Now we need to check bool. Uh, it's pull test sorry. And we check the rotate. And if it's true, want it on. If it's false, want it off. Then go on to game manager. And this is where the send event comes into play. So we do this. We can sell multiple ways as I said before, like you can select one or you can broadcast. In this case we're gonna broadcast. Uh, we want to check boolean, I think is what we call it. I'm going to copy that and I'll just paste that in there. And that, 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 that. There's one thing left to do, but I'll just show you this first. Press A, it's going, and then press B. So this will keep going and looping. So that's essentially it. The only other thing I wanted to show you was you can do an i tween sub. So this event will just stop the action completely. So if you wanted to stop it where it was, you could just do it that way. And I believe this will work. See? And then it will just continue on from where you left it. So hopefully that answers your question and helps you.